Fellow Zimbabweans, December is a special month, a unit month for our nation. 22 December is National Unit Day. And for a good reason, unit precedes everything. Unit is the basis upon which we were formed as a people. In heaven, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, God said, let us make men in our own image. It was a conversation. It was a collective. It was a unified position. It is a position that came out of a unified understanding of what needs to be done. And I must tell you that for nations to be built great, for nations to be made winning nations, unit has to stand at the center. Unit is what makes our nation Zimbabwe a winning nation. We will as a new citizen government, unite all Zimbabweans across politics, race, or pride to win our great nation for transformation, prosperity, peace, and opportunity. Unit wins peace. Unit wins prosperity. Unit wins nation. Unit wins transformation for country. There can never be true unity without true dialogue, without true love. We need each other as a people. In Debele, Fayati, Zanza, Ziakesa. Zanza, Zinogesa, in Shona. As a nation, we can only build better when we are able to come together, cross-pollinate on our best of ideas, on our intellect, on our integrity, on our history, on our expertise, on our gifts. That is what you need that to build great nations. Unity is good for us all. It is good for a thriving future. It is good for a booming nation. Lack of unity makes nations fail and fall. We must unite. We as citizens yearn for that real unity. Unit based on equality, tolerance, justice, freedom. This was the vision of our founding fathers our founding leaders, Father Joshua Ngomo, Dr. Ngomo, the fathers, fathers in Babel. This was a vision of Josiah Magamatonga, Lookout Masuk, Herbert Shtepo, just but to mention a few. They made significant sacrifices to bring us together. The young Robert Mugabe and other veterans who are still living in their teenage age, they made this commitment, this sacrifice to serve, this sacrifice to lead, this sacrifice to make a difference, and this sacrifice to lay a foundation and a building stone for a great nation. And today, as National Unit Day beckons, we recommit ourselves as we rededicate our efforts to building a new, great, and united Zimbabwe. And this Zimbabwe we shall build. This Zimbabwe is going to be built by you and me. It is our collective effort. UNIT doesn't manipulate or rig elections. UNIT doesn't imprison or persecute political competitors. UNIT is not unjust or unequal. UNIT is either love or peace. UNIT is neither violent nor a terrorist. UNIT is not violence or vengeance. UNIT is not hateful or vindictive. UNIT is forgiving, love, and forgiveness. Unit is you and me in our diversity, celebrating it to have that rainbowness of a great nation. Diversity is a strength, not a weakness. Diversity is an advantage, not a burden. Diversity is a gain, not a pain. Imagine how good and pleasant Zimbabwe would be. Such a good place to live in, in that God himself promise us that there will be greatness and he will bless us when there is unity. What are those conditions for this consequence of abundance and plenty? It is unity. Great nations are united in some common purpose. A united nation thrives. A united nation prospers. When there is unity, there is ingenuity. When there is unity, there is a collective 
aspiration and flourishing of our individual talent. Perhaps it's time we started a conversation. That conversation that says you and me can do better. Not about political parties. There are great people in all political parties, Triple C, Zanupia, and we must harness our collective good as a nation for unity's sake. Because wherever there is unity, God commands a blessing. Fellows in Babylon, come, let us reason together. Come, let us reason together to win Zimbabwe for change, to win Zimbabwe for greatness, to win Zimbabwe for a new stardom for prosperity. We are here for unity. We represent unity. The future is unity. Our foundation is unity. Our module is found in unity. I enjoy you to come and be with us as we commemorate this unit day. It's not an event, it's not a man, it is a process. It is a state of thinking. It is a natural condition of our national psyche. It is our character. It is how we must have that as a disposition beyond just a day, beyond just a month, beyond just slogans. Because slogans are well, but action around unity is what we need. And by unity, we must have job scholar released from prison. That's what unity is all about. None of us should be imprisoned in the mind or physically or for politics because we are different on ideas. Job scholar, this is yours for this year on this unit day. May you be released. And other political prisoners and prisoners who are being incarcerated and who are in jail psychologically, who are in jail mentally, who are in jail even physically. Because jail is not just walls of a prison. Jail is a state of mind. Many Zimbabweans are in jail. And may this jail end as a gesture of celebrating and calibrating our national unity day. I thank you. God bless you. God bless Zimbabwe. God bless you all. We love you. Thank you.